Hello and welcome to today's video for G2 Online Event Week that we have had received to us. We are going to be discussing the Overtime Rumble Adversary Mode that is three times money in RP this week. So, basically, it's very simple, it's not that difficult to do, and pretty much anyone could do it. Basically, you have got two teams, purple and orange. You drive down a ramp, jump off the ramp into a game or play zone, whatever it's called. And once you're at a height that you are comfortable with after jumping off the ramp, you pull the parachute of your car. And then you simply glide to one of five landing points, one being the largest and then five being the smallest now these are you know they're not easy to land on but there are some that are a bit easier than others um, you've got ones that are straight you've got ones that are angled obviously the number one being the largest everyone can get on that number two slightly more well slightly smaller but again everyone can get on it three it's a little bit of it's a bit snug but you can all get on it number four is when the fighting starts to happen and number five the one person can get on it or in some cases on some maps maybe two um no weapons involved however you can push people off of these platforms um once you are in the play zone i'm gonna call it if you go out of the play zone there is not for example a five second timer for you to get back in the moment you go out of the play zone you blow up you don't get no warning you don't get no time to get back into the play zone no you, one bit of your car goes over you blow up um maximum i think is five on five but obviously these teams can go down over time if people do leave and I think if team balancing is on and you are on a team and you would say it's a five on five you lose two people of your team if you then if you've got team balancing on I believe once you start a new because you got different you got sets and then rounds and then the match so, for example, you have four sets that you do. Whoever gets the most points within them four wins that round. Um, if you, again, five on five, you lose two people on your team. Once you go to the next set, if team balancing is on, I believe that someone from the other team goes over to your team to make the teams balanced again. So do not worry if you start off with five on five and you lose two people or even three at the beginning of the round um, you will gain two or one more people on your team um, obviously you could those are different techniques you could go down the entire ramp and jump off or you could do a little jump at the start and parachute slowly making your way all the way to the points now obviously some of them being the flatter ones are slightly harder to land on because they're flat you haven't really got anything to stop you you can still turn the wheels and everything however you cannot use the engine or the brakes so all you've got to use to stop you falling off is either turning the wheel by landing on like the very edge of the uh, platform and then turning the wheel so you kind of go around it or crashing into someone else who is on the platform already and to be honest that's pretty much it there's not really anything else um, obviously the gameplay is pretty self-explanatory but yeah there's not really much else to explain with this it's not exactly high tech you don't really need to have any kind of skills it doesn't really take any skill either but it's very simple to do so hopefully if this video was helpful in any way then please do obviously leave a like it was pretty quick but like I said there's not really much to this 
um, to this adversary mode. You also can't use custom vehicles. So you kind of got that out of the window as well. Um, but leave in the comments what you think of the adversary mode if you've been playing it, what you think of the money reward, which I believe um, if you can't, depending on how long it takes, I think five rounds or five sets, um, first place you get 24,000 and obviously the amount of sets you do per round will increase that amount and you can only have 10 people in the entire thing um, but yeah leave comments what you think of the adversary mode and what you think of the week so far what your favorite part is of it and obviously if you do go ahead and continue to enjoy the new notification click the notification bell and uh, no click the subscribe button if you do enjoy and if you then don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified on any videos or updates I may unleash into the future. And I will see you all in the next one.